Hello techies! Welcome to our brand new video series focused on helping you get the most of your experiences in life. Before we start the video, let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. Okay, and apart from that you know also you can go here, but I think you can get the report from there also. Okay, go to Manager. Yeah, you can go to Manager Request and you can check from your end if the workflow is completed or not. Okay. Yeah, sure, sure. Go ahead. Yeah, there you can able to go and check, because I don't think for the workflow changes and everything that is for specific workflow when you are discussing, so that it is not required to go and create a report from here. Hello, I'm still not able to. Yes, yes, you know. Okay, so try from your end. I think that will be sufficient, because the report is something where you are going for all the workflows or something where you want to take some report or something. Workflow is a foundation object, so you can go here also. You can see you have an option here. When you're going and creating a report in the table report only, a foundation object will be there. Yeah, right. So all foundation objects will be coming, but it is related to the workflow, right? So foundation object means you will be getting event, event results, workflows, everything will be coming. So if I go here, so this is something. So if I'm going to the columns, selecting the column. Workflow. So you can go here and you can select external code. So what is the name of the workflow? Some code and name will be there, right? Excellent. And name description is also most importantly, you can create a combination of this workflow. contributor is required or not. Or, in that, what are the details you require, that you need to select? Here, when you select here. This only gives you the list of the workflows. But if you go into Manage Workflow, yes. If I go to Manage Workflow Request. So, so you can select the request type or something in request status. If I'm selecting as a pending,
Well. When you go into the forty days. Yes. These are the logs which you can find exactly for that specific part. Changes has been made. Who has made the changes? Changes can be carried by the approval. There will not be any specific person. Okay, oh yeah. And one more thing. If a workflow is being triggered and been approved. Workflow, always work with the employee related. Workflow always work with the help of the business. Okay. So once the workflow has been completed and you want to track the workflow log. You can also try to take from the rule trace also. We have a concept of rule trace. So. From there also, you can able to go and take. Otherwise the workflow which has been completed from there also, suppose, if I'm going here and the workflow is completed. I have taken. I have taken the status as a pending. Let me take as a completed. Manage workflow. The first. I. Okay. So here I am going to the server. And the question status on the table was completed. And I'm searching for it. So here also suppose for the particular workflow. If I'm just going in. Who has performed it? What has been performed? Changes has been done. That is also shown here. For the completed. So from the workflow request you can get more details. Sorry for your end. Yeah. So, coming into our back to the report center. That was something which we have done for higher end exit. With the help of table report for the canvas. Let's take a scenario where we want to go and create the report for the compensation information of an employee. So how we will go and create. So the steps I will be following. So that you can see the steps of where I'm going. Click on the canvas select.
OK. Click on Create. Compared to Ad Hoc and Table. Ad Hoc Table Report. This Canvas Report. It is a bit slow. Now the other step is to click on table. You can see here list of report. Drag and drop it. When you click on, when you drag and drop it here, you can see edit query is coming. Click on the edit query. You will find two things. One is detail report and advanced reporting. You have to click on Advanced Reporting and click on New. It is more important to know the steps. If you know the steps, any scenario you can able to go and create. You can find the Detail Report and Advanced Reporting. OK. Click on the Advanced Reporting. Click on Need. OK. Now what we need to do. We have to click on here. How we have selected the domain. You can see all domains will be showing here. OK. So what we need to do. You get for employment. And select that employment one. Employment. Click on. Please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. For more information, contact us at sales at the rateuptalk.com.